following screencast will take a look at Acknowledge's automated EEG tools. In this particular screencast, we're going to look at a routine. Oops, look at a routine that will automatically remove EOG artifacts from EEG data. And you can see I've sort of got some channels hidden here. I've already duplicated these FC, CZ and PZ so that we can get a look at the before and after. And in these particular channels you can see there's a fair amount of EOG artifact. And this can be quite typical if a subject is watching a presentation or a movie, something where that they're staring at a screen, you quite often get some pretty pronounced blinks. In order for this particular analysis to work, you do need to record an EOG channel. In this case, it's the vertical EOG, and you can clearly see the blinks, and they correlate with the signals or the artifact that's marked on FZ. So in order to run the analysis, we go into the EEG menu, and we select Remove EOG Artifacts. There's a menu, sorry, a, a dialog box pops up and it wants to know, the software wants to know which channel contains the EOG signal. So in our file it's channel 11, the EOG, and you can see these are the channels that I duplicated, FZ, CZ, PZ, etc. I'm going to hit OK. And now we're asked which channels do we want to analyze. So we want to do FC, CZ, and channel 4, PZ. And we're going to hit OK. This takes a little while. This particular technique, uh, or the technique that's being used here for removing the eye blinks is independent component analysis and it tends to work better with more channels of EEG. Three is pretty good but the more you have the better. Um, if I go back in and turn our duplicated channels back on, this is FC, FZ, we can clearly see that the EOG removal has been able to eliminate a lot of these blinks. Same with CZ, although that wasn't contaminated quite as much, and then PZ also. So that gives you a quick demonstration of Acknowledge's automated EOG artifact removal tool.